All right, what's going on? Welcome back to Ken Allen Bell on this Friday. So Bleacher Report put out a list. We love lists, right? All-time great lists. I don't really love them. Uh, I don't love having those debates because they're so nuanced, right? There's different eras. They're different, um, you know, rules in a lot of, of cases. But one and two, no surprise, Michael Jordan, number one, LeBron James, two. Uh, any issue with that, Raja? Because I don't. I'm an MJ guy through and through. I don't even, LeBron would have to win more championships. Uh, and catch MJ in that area. And even if he did, I just I have a, a reverence for MJ, which I think you share the same feelings with. Are you with me on that one? Yeah, I'm fine with that. I got no beef. I mean, you know, LeBron, we, we could debate it, but ultimately I'm always going to side with Michael Jordan. He's six for six in finals. I grew up watching him. Like, LeBron has more work to do to catch that. All right, so then the list goes on, and it's not super controversial in the top ten. Kareem, Magic, Larry uh, Bird, Shaq, Tim Duncan, Bill Russell, Will Chamberlain. The 10th spot, though, if you're saying Steph Curry, all right, he deserves to be top 10. Well, then who are you leaving out? And I thought there was an egregious omission of the top 10 and somebody who was really ranked disrespectfully, and it would be one Kobe Bean Bryant who checked in at 14 on the list behind David Robinson, behind Akeem Olajuwon, just in front of Kevin Durant. What are you, what are your what's your take when you see Kobe Bryant as the 14th best player all time? Um, utter ridiculousness. I, I mean, you know that that top 10. If Kobe were in it, we could have a discussion and split hairs and spin wheels all day, and never really get anywhere because you're you know it, it's that close. But I include Kobe in that top 10. Steph Curry's a great player. I'm a Steph Curry fan. Um, it, it, it's ridiculous if you don't have Kobe. This is has to be some kind of analytical nerd type of approach to ranking your top tens. Um, and I don't even know how the numbers don't support him being in there when, when you use, you know, those type of metrics to quantify it. Um, the fact that, and this is no shade at the Admiral, but not only is Kobe not in your top 10, but you've got, you know, Steph we just alluded to uh, and David Robinson in front of Kobe Bryant. I'm not, you know, Oscar Robertson, you know, okay. Hakeem Olajuwon. I, I would still not have those guys in front, but again, I'll make a little bit of a case that they're in the conversation. You know, Steph and and David Robinson. I don't even know how I don't even know how we can have this conversation. I, I look, you know, Kobe and I have had our issues. We're friends now. We're fine. Um, this is a huge miss from Bleacher Report. I'd be really interested to know, you know, what type of you know nerd formula they use to come up with these names. <laughs> All right, I'll give you my hunch. I'll give you my best guess. Steph Curry. This would be the defense of Steph Curry has changed the game with the three-point shot. He's the best all-time shooter of the, sh the three-point shot, and he's changed the way we play the game. Really, when you look at the way the, the youth basketball, everybody's trying to imitate themselves. Steph Curry there, first unanimous MVP. Um, it's a game changer as far as that. But that, to me, may be true, but it still doesn't make him one of the 10 all-time best players just because people are copycatting his style of play. When you go out and look there from a sheer dominance perspective, I think it's going to be really interesting moving forward what Steph does the remainder of his career, where, yes, if he starts going back to championships, when he is having to go against teams with Kevin Durant, when he has having to go against Drew LeBron James again, when he's having to go against this Houston Rockets team, and he doesn't have a super team around him, granted, he's still going to have some pretty impressive pieces, but I think Steph Curry can vault himself into that conversation but I wouldn't put him there now. Does that make sense? Is that a fair assessment where Steph Curry is just too high now? Maybe he can play himself in there if he gets a couple more titles and continues to dominate the way he has with the three-point shot. But you can't put him there now based on what he's done to this point. Yeah, Raj, before you respond to that, just so you guys – just to, one of the big stats they used, uh, it looked like one of the biggest things they used, it was ranked by win shares per 48 minutes over their career, which is – I mean – it's an uh, win shares. I think is an important you know stat, but you can't rank all time off just that. Ridiculous. Look, I can support, you know, everything that you just said about Steph. Because again, I'm a Steph fan. I, I got a chance to play with Steph when he was a rookie. I know his family, and this is showing throwing no shade at Steph. And and I agree with you, Danny. That conversation and that that place on that list is ever you know evolving for Steph. The more the more he does, the you know the more championships he wins. Yes, but 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 right now, like. He don't deserve to be in the top 10 over Kobe Dan Bryant. I don't know what to tell you other than that. Like, you make a case for Kobe Bryant, 
being better than you know LeBron, Magic, and Larry. Like a real case for that. So to have him all the way down at 14 is is just it's absurd. All right, what about Kevin Durant at 15th? What do you what do you make of his ranking? Proper, under, over? Where would you put him? I, I think that's fair. You know, I, I think I think that's fair right now. A guy who's still playing. Um, you know, so the, the 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 jury isn't in on the career yet. Like it's still out. He's still got work to do. Um, you know, and and names like David Robinson and Hakeem Oscar, they're not bad names to be in your top twenty at all. They just weren't like ahead of Kobe for me. So you know, I can be okay with Kevin Garnett being, I mean Kevin Durant, sorry, being at fifteen right now. I'm cool with that. You just can't leave Kobe out of the top ten. 